welcome to Harshita's Kitchen. So today I'll be making the best chocolate cake ever. And it is made in microwave and it's eggless. So you have every reason to give it a try. And once you try it, don't forget to send me your pictures on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even on Snapchat. And let's start the video. So the things you'll need are 1 fourth teaspoon of baking powder, 2 tablespoons of milk, half a teaspoon of baking soda, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 1 fourth cup of oil, 3 fourth cup of flour, 1 eighth teaspoon of salt, half a cup of sugar, 1 fourth teaspoon of instant coffee, a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of curd. Now let's start! So first you'll need to add the curd to a mixing bowl. Then add oil to it and whisk the ingredients together until they are well combined. Then take the water and dissolve the instant coffee in it. Microwave the mixture for about a minute and keep it aside. Now take the curd mixture and sift in the flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, powdered sugar, and the cocoa powder. Now sift in all the ingredients with the help of a spoon or you can even tap the sift against your hand to do that. After all the ingredients are sifted through you need to give it a gentle whisk and then add the coffee mixture to it and give it a gentle whisk again. Keep whisking the mixture until it is combined and then add the milk to it. Keep whisking it again until the cake batter is smooth. Then scrape off the sides of the bowl with the help of a spatula. Grease a microwave safe dish and line it with some parchment paper. Grease the top of the parchment paper and pour in the cake batter. Give the cake batter a gentle shake just to make sure it's even. Pop it in the microwave and after it's baked, run a knife through the edges of the cake just to make sure that it comes out easily. Then transfer the cake to a cake turntable and peel off all the parchment paper from the cake. Now add in the chocolate and the butter and microwave them in intervals of 30 seconds and stir them in these intervals to make sure that the chocolate and butter are well combined. Now add in the cream and mix it well. After everything is well combined, microwave it for 30 seconds and then stir it. After that, keep it in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then take the cake and make some holes with the help of a fork and it. This helps the cake to absorb the fat content from the frosting. After you take out the frosting from the fridge, add in some cocoa powder and mix it together. Now spread all of the frosting on the top of the cake. Make sure it is even on the top with the help of a spoon and the top is all covered with the frosting and after that let the frosting drip which will make a really nice effect on the chocolate cake. Make sure that you refrigerate your cake after frosting it for about 10 to 15 minutes. I didn't do that part so you can see that the frosting is sticking over the knife. You can serve the cake as it is but to make it a little more fancy I sprinkle some powdered sugar over it. And then place a little mint leaf on it. Mm -hmm. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such cooking videos, baking videos, every video related to food. And make sure to share it in the comments down below what you want to see next. You can also follow me on all my social profiles and links are in the description below. Thank you for watching this video again. Bye!